upgrading your truck from 275 55th R20 tires to chunkier 285 55th R20 rubber sounds minor, yet that 10 mm step reshapes clearances, comfort, and MPG. Stick around while we break down the real-world consequences. The 285 section width grows by 0.39 inch, so factory 20 times 8.5 wheels usually suffice, but check offset. You'll want at least 5 mm more inner clearance to avoid control arm kiss. Cycle suspension at full lockup, down, and diagonal. If plastics rub, a quick heat gun massage or 3 mm spacer cures it. Torque lugs to spec after test spin. Diameter increases 0.43 inch, translating to about 0.22 inch extra axle height. It sounds trivial, yet that sliver lets skid plates skim over taller speed bumps and helps front valances survive steep ferry ramps or rocky trail entry points. Each 285 carcass is heavier, and the 1.4% larger circumference lowers effective gearing. So expect highway mileage to drop roughly 1-2 mpg, with city loops hit harder unless you upshift earlier or bump pressure 2 psi. Visually, the extra 10 mm shoulder fills wheel arch gaps for a meatier stance. You'll notice tread blocks protruding 0.39 inch farther, giving the truck that OEM plus aggression without shouting full overland build. Sidewalls gain 0.22 inch, absorbing sharp edges a bit better, but unsprung weight rises, so tiny chatter through the steering column increases, accompanied by a deeper, low frequency hum at highway speed. The 0.39 inch broader tread patch ups lateral traction on dry corners and loose gravel. However, slightly taller sidewalls introduce more flex, and gearing drop dulls throttle snap exiting turns. Hydroplaning threshold lowers marginally, so maintain pressure and slow in puddles. Because circumference grows 1.36 inches, your speedo underreports by 1.3%. When it says 20 miles per hour, GPS shows 20.27 miles per hour. Left uncorrected, odometer totals lag shortening service intervals and resale mileage prestige over years. ABS, traction, and lane keep algorithms tolerate up to 3% variance, so the 1.3% change is safe. Still, flashing the ECU preserves gear shift logic and keeps adaptive crews following gaps precise. Swapping to 285 55ths R20 delivers a noticeable but manageable evolution. You earn a 0.39 inch wider footprint, 0.22 inch taller sidewalls, and roughly 0.22 inch extra clearance. The trade-offs, 1.3% speedo error, slight throttle lethargy, and perhaps 1-2 MPG loss. Factory sensors remain content. Minor trimming, calibration, and diligent pressure management keep manners civilized. If purpose includes towing stability, gravel grip, and tougher aesthetics, this upgrade balances improvement with practicality. Like, subscribe, and share for more tire tech breakdowns.